Hi, I'm Heather and welcome back to Cooking with the Tacnas. Today I'm going to show you how to make quiche. It's super simple, there's only four ingredients and you can basically put whatever you want in it. So we like to make a vegetarian version which is made with impossible sausage and we like to make a carnivore version which is made with pork sausage. So I've got two pie crusts. These are pre-made pie crusts. I don't get fancy with this stuff. I flute them, put them in two sprayed nine inch pie plates. You take four eggs and one cup of half and half. You can also do whole milk combined with whipping cream. So you whisk this together. And I'm just gonna repeat this process for both of these. You wanna make sure you have your oven set to 375 degrees. All right, that looks good. You wanna make sure when you're whisking that you don't have any of the egg yolks left in the batter or you'll have giant chunks of cooked egg inside of the quiche. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. My husband absolutely loves this recipe. Before I met him, he had never really liked quiche. And when I made this for him, he was like, that's the best quiche I've ever had. And I made him a believer. My dad also really loves this recipe. They love it because it's not dry. And apparently a lot of quiche recipes are super dry. I'm not sure why they're like that. Obviously not enough moisture in them. Over here at the stove, we have already cooked up the impossible sausage is in this pan and the pork sausage is in this pan. We've drained off all of the excess fluid and you take a cup of shredded Swiss and just distribute it around. And then you just mix it up and you let the heat from the cooked meat melt the cheese. It doesn't have to be totally melted, it just softens it but you want it nice and evenly distributed so you don't have giant chunks of cheese inside of your sausage mix, because that'll taste weird too. Next step is to fill these up. So you put your meat and cheese mixture on the bottom. Smooth it out. Top with your egg and cream mix. I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit too to make sure everything is evenly coated. Just kind of pat it down in there. Do the exact same thing for the next one. On the Impossible Sausage, we buy the savory kind. There's also a hot and spicy kind. I've never made it with that, but you certainly can try it. Um, the Impossible Sausage is really tasty and it cooks up just like regular sausage. So. Very yummy. Um, I like to salt and pepper it before I put it in the oven. And again, it's kind of a salt to taste type of thing, but I just like to make sure that there's a good coat all around. So you're gonna put them in a 375 degree preheated oven and they will bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. You'll know it's done when you put a knife in the center of it and slice through and the knife comes out clean. Now. Weirdly, just like lasagna, these are always best after they've cooled off and then you reheat them like in the microwave. I'm not sure why that is, but it, um, it just tastes better that way. So here we go. Hi, the quiche is out of the oven. On the left side, I've got the pork version and on the right side, I've got the impossible sausage version. So I'm going to take a bite of this one and taste it for us. That's absolutely delicious. It's moist and yummy and flavorful. The savoriness of the sausage really comes through. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.